family and friends of a Florida woman who disappeared in Spain desperate for answers this morning. It's been nearly three weeks since 40 year old Anna Kaznezovic was last seen and she was overseas taking a break while going through a divorce. Let's take a closer look at the timeline events leading up to today. Reports say that she left for Madrid back in December and according to Spanish police, Anna was last seen on February 2nd. Not long after, a man in a motorcycle helmet spray painted over the security cameras at her apartment. Then on November or sorry, excuse me, February 3rd, her best friend and brother received mysterious text messages saying she was running away with a man she had just met while there. Anna was scheduled to travel to Barcelona on February 5th, but apparently never left. Her best friend, Sana Ramo, traveled to Spain on February 8th to help police with that investigation. Sana joins us now from Sweden. Sana, thanks so much for being with us. I know this has been a time of anguish for you. Yes, thank you. Good morning. Thank you for having me and thank you for shining light on Anna's story. We appreciate your continued time because I know you spoke with us earlier this week on News Nation. Yes. Have you learned any new information from police about Anna or her whereabouts? Uh, we have no new information about Anna's whereabouts. I do know that this is a top priority for Spanish authorities. I am in contact with them uh, regularly. I am in contact with the American Embassy, who is also involved. I am in contact with the uh, FBI. FBI is fully involved in this. And I do want to say that if there is anyone that has any information uh, that they think there can be a value, uh, please reach out to FBI in Miami. Yeah, uh, certainly. Let's talk about those messages that I mentioned off the top that you received from Anna, saying she had met someone, she was going to his home located a couple hours away from Madrid, that her phone service would be spotty. I mean, does that sound like the Anna that you know? No, absolutely not. It was, uh, it was uh, bizarre. Uh, it is not the Anna that I know. Uh, she doesn't write like that, and she would never do something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I also keep saying that, uh, uh, you know, logistically everything was wrong with the messages because leaving Madrid uh, late uh, Saturday afternoon when she clearly had uh, travel plans Monday morning to go to Barcelona didn't make any sense. And um, she also spoke to friends uh, Friday night on February 2nd up until 10 p.m., uh, the message said that she had met this man on Friday, and uh, obviously, if she had met the man, you know, of her dreams that she had this fantastic connection with, uh, she would have mentioned it to friends, right. and she didn't mention anything up until 10 p.m. Yeah, we're night. also airing some of these uh, photos from her wedding day. As I mentioned off the top, she was going through a divorce, and uh, Sana, at last check, her husband David remained in Serbia and was not traveling to Spain for the investigation. Uh, any word from him, and how does that sit with you? Uh, well, he is speaking through his, he has uh, hired an attorney uh, that is speaking for him. Uh, I know that the uh, attorney has been on, on different programs and, and talked about um, David's uh, whereabouts and uh, different questions that, that has arised uh, as far as how he has been involved in the investigation. And um, I spoke to David uh, during the week uh, after Anna's disappearance. She just disappeared on February 2nd. Uh, I'm currently in Sweden, and I went to uh, Madrid on February 8th to help with the investigation. Uh, I did speak with him on the phone. I asked him to join me in Madrid to search for his wife, to help in any way that we could with this investigation. But um, he told me that week that he flew to, to Serbia because he, did, yeah. he said he didn't think that there was anything that he could do to be in Madrid. Yes, and to be fair to him, his attorney says he's been cooperating with Spanish police, the FBI, uh, also adding that his being in Spain wouldn't help with the investigation. Lastly for you, Sana, if Anna uh, were watching this morning, what would you say to her right now? That we are doing everything. We think about her every minute of the day, and I'm in close contact with every authority that is involved, and we are going to get to the bottom of this. Whoever has done this to Anna, they will be fine, found. They will uh, be brought to justice. Uh, I, I, I am certain of that. I, I have received positive news uh, yesterday in regards to the process of this investigation. Uh, and um, that, that's all I can say. But there, there has been some positive news in regards to how the investigation now is 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 taking place and moving forward i'm glad to hear that uh, i know yes. you're not giving up the fight uh santa ramo thank uh -huh. you so much
Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.